Hi Gemini, it's L here to do your April, mid-April 2018 reading. Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, liked and shared the video. Please like, comment, comment below where you are viewing from, where you live. I might be in your state, your country, your city, your town. Um, and maybe we can get together and do a personal reading. All right. So I'll save the announcements to the end. Um, let's go. Gemini, y'all have been, everybody's been having it rough because this is the, the fourth month. This is the month about stability, you know, emotional stability, mental, uh, monetary, health, you know, physical stability. So everybody's evaluating that on some type of scale, some level, you know, what needs to go, what needs to stay. And it's spring cleaning, you know, it's spring. So thank you, Lord God, for the messages for Gemini. Let's get it started. Thank you for messages of love and light, of clarity, truth, excuse me, truth and clarity. Thank you, thank you. Mm. All right, so this is the basis for all the energy that we see here now. Five of Pentacles. So, some of you, this could be monetary for some of you. Feeling like there is not enough. Feeling like there has been changes in your financial situation. Four of Pentacles would be, I have the money, but I'm trying to hold on to it. I need to evaluate my spending. I need to evaluate being lavish or not being lavish. I need to evaluate if I'm, you know, being a miser, a hoarder of money. Five of Pentacles is, okay, I just feel like there's not enough. There, or there's change. There's been change in regards to money. Um, and you feel like, a lot of times you feel like you just need more here at the Five of Pentacles. You feel like there's lack. Um, also, some of you could be having, um, feeling lack. In co of confidence via because there's not a lot of money or just a lack of confidence or feeling left out of a situation maybe something to do with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus Sun Moon Rising alright your the energy that crosses you the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands this could be Capricorn Virgo Taurus Knight of Wands sits, crosses them. This could either be you in and out of a situation, whether it's work or love, you, you can apply it. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone feels like they're the more responsible person, the Queen of Pentacles, excuse me, in the relationship. Because the Seven of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So you've been through a lot here. Um, you're standing your ground and whatever you're trying to establish. You're willing to defend yourself in, in your mindset. Um, you're taking action to defend yourself in your mindset. In regards to maybe a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You feel like they they might be... In, in, no. This, I feel like this is you coming up as a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You feel like you're the more stable, responsible one who makes logical decisions that affect everyone involved. You feel like your partner may be, or this could be business, love, family, whatever, uh, is in and out, indecisive, all about what they want, passions and desires have not established any roots anywhere or 
any roots in something or the relationship. Now, this could be vice versa. This is how someone may feel about you, Gemini. That you're in and out. You're indecisive, immature, and they feel like they're the more responsible person. Your energy, your uh, presently, you're at the two of swords. This is Libra, Sun and Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, or if not, you just know that you need to make a decision about something. Now, you're all up in your head about it. You haven't taken action. It's not the two of wands, but it's the two of swords, knowing that you need to make a decision. You haven't done it, maybe because you feel like there isn't clarity here. She's blindfolded. You feel like there's a piece of information left out, or you don't. You feel like you don't even know which way to go mentally with this. Somebody is confusing you because they're in and out. In the recent past judgment, you needed to you either did or you didn't make a judgment call. The final decision on a relationship, romantic, business, home, work, school. You didn't make a decision. You need to make a decision. Either you did or you didn't. Judgment is here. The same situation happened again by way of spirit. Bringing it back to you. And you needed to make a final decision. But presently, you're at a decision. So you haven't made the decision. Moving forward, Eight of Cups, maybe you are. Um, you definitely are emotionally checking out of a situation. You could be physically moving away from situation to maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Walking away from a situation that would seem ideal for anybody looking in from the outside. But you know that this is not what it appears to be. I'm hearing some of you are tired of putting up the front. Your power is the Eight of Pentacles. It's to engage in work, perfect yourself, your craft. I'm hearing work on yourself, whatever that means to you, physical, getting in the gym, working out, uh, going back to school, uh, getting a trade, um, further education or higher education. Perfect yourself. Put the energy now and invest in yourself. Eight of Pentacles is your power. External to you is the Queen of Swords. So, external to you could be another Gemini. This is my Gemini car, or a Gemini Libra Aquarius, or just someone who is just cutting shit out. Excuse my language, like not even playing. Like, you can't. As soon as she deems you as unnecessary. Uh, I'm hearing inaccurate. How how can you just deem a person inaccurate? What the hell does that mean? People aren't spreadsheets. But the Queen of Swords is kind of like that. Very analytical. Very black and white. Very strategic. She's also... she she's The King and the Queen wear purple. Purple is the, the color of love of... of um, in a sense, divinity, being closer to divinity and to our creator. Um, spirit speaks to her or him firmly. I don't even know what the hell that means. Oh my gosh. Breathe. Okay. Be careful with this person, guys, because they already know. I don't even know what that means for you, Gemini. You could be dealing with another air sign, male or female. Whatever that means for you is spirit is saying they already know. Try to be as honest as you can be with this person because they are already yielding the sword. And the sword is called the sword of truth. 
Now, they don't just cut people out just because they're bitchy and they're cold and they're this and this and whatever. Um, they cut people out because they deserve to be cut out. Because they cut you with that sort of truth. They give you that accurate truth. Maybe that's where it's coming from when I said they feel like people are inaccurate. Mm. Uh, they they read you with a level of accuracy that was only given to them by divinity. So it's like they, they trust in the spirit to get their truth. And that's why it's absolute truth. Because it's just not, it's, there is, they're not just resting on their own mental, their own emotions. They're, they're aligned. Mm. I never looked at the Queen of Swords like that until today. But I pray heavy, heavily over these cards. So this is a message for somebody. Be, be careful. Cardi B out here. Um, be conscious. Be careful of how you're dealing with someone else, um, Gemini. Just try to be as honest as possible and let the chips fall how they're going to fall. Um, cause I don't, I don't see you. I don't see this coming out good for you. If you want to do battle with this person anyway, moving on, uh, hopes and fears, definitely fear the devil or a Capricorn. You feel being put back into a situation that doesn't serve you, that doesn't, um, isn't of your highest good. It's low vibrational. It's low energy. It's low everything. It's just low. It's just low down. This person could be low down. Could be a Capricorn. You just fear having to go back into. It looks like you're trying to get out of. Or away from your fear and having to go back into a toxic situation and to oh I just feel oh my gosh just it feels very heavy like it's like you guys think about this like It's like, I love this person, whomever this may be, or whatever situation this is, but they are toxic for me. They, they bring me down to everyone else. It looks like they build me up and it's a loving situation, but this is how I feel currently. And that's why the energy is like this. Because they are like this. They can mask the toxicity and the uncaring nature and the, the ill will by so many different things. Someone you dealing with may have addictions also. The outcome. Two of Wands. Well, that's good. We go from presently at the two of swords and then the outcome is the two of wands so you're going to actively chart a new path um, the thing about the two of wands is and i'm just seeing this in this day um it's a gilded tarot uh so a lot of times readers will say this is a new path. You're charting a new path. It's going to alter your entire world. Sometimes this is not a new path. Sometimes people choose to go right back to that same, that same, that same, whatever that same is to you. They go right back to a situation that um, they were contemplating leaving. So it alters your the course of your world, yes, because you're choosing to go back into something maybe that is not good for you. And you're not choosing to move on and move forward. What's the two of wands? What's the two of wands for Gemini? What's the two of wands for Gemini? What's the two of wands for Gemini? Thank you, Spirit. 
The cards are real easy though. Uh, so you, like you're at a really placid state. I said this too. I said the seven of wands is going to pop right back out. Seven of wands. So some of you might choose to definitely chart a new path. Like I'm not going back into this because I'm standing my ground on how I feel, what I think about this in regards to maybe someone from your past, a soulmate, someone you've known six or more years, six or more months, someone you have children with. Seven of Cups just escalates. They they cause nothing, but it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe with Earth in their chart. Could be an air sign. Ah. For those dealing with air signs, y'all got some energy to work through because if you're dealing with the air sign, they're ready to do verbal battle and they're ready to give you a dose of accurate truth. And I think once you guys do that, then you can move forward. But, okay, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fire signs. You're definitely feeling like they need to grow up. Maybe with fire signs. Earth signs, you're feeling like it's just toxic. You don't even feel like you're in a relationship. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They create illusions. You want to walk away. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're having... Uh, rapid communication in regards to maybe the trouble in your relationship due to jealousy and or greed. Uh, yeah. Right. Five of Swords. You arguing. And then there's Cancer right there. Uh, the Chariot. Some of you are trying to move forward from what a Ten of Pentacles situation, what was established, what you thought was an established relationship. You're having some anxiety about moving forward. Definitely anxiety, praying about it. The towers gonna come in and help you move forward. All right, guys. Um, yeah. So they're the elements. I just felt like for some of y'all, y'all just wanted to know the elements. So air, you're gonna be doing some verbal sparring. I think you're gonna get your ass whooped, but um, but it's gonna be a good whooping because then you guys can move forward. They're going to tell you about how they feel, how you come off, and um, then you're going to have to make a choice. But it's going to be in a very and still open way. It's not going to be closing the door. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you guys are contemplating moving away from, or you, you have already taken a break, or... They, they do nothing but do what, what water signs are good at. They're good at emotions and manipulating them if if not for the highest good. Um, you know, so there's an air of emotional manipulation there. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Capricorn in particular. What are the messages that Gemini should be focused on going forward? But Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, you feel like it's toxic. You feel like it. You've been through a lot. You feel like you feel left out. You don't even feel like there's much there. You know, there. It's, it's gonna take a lot of work to get back. Um, and then fire signs. You feel like they're just immature. They need to grow up. Um, you feel like you're the most, the more responsible one in the relationship, or in the partnership. All right. Um. Yeah. So I think that was all elements, right? Yeah. I wish it. Oh, judgment comes out again. You need to make a final decision on something. Seven of Wands again. Stand your ground. That's good. That's good, Gemini. Eight of Swords, that's your energy, but you're feeling stuck. What's this judgment about? Three of Wands, you might be leaving partnership behind. All right, Eight of Swords. Oh, there you, you came out. Yeah, you do feel stuck. Mentally stuck to a situation, maybe another air sign. Uh, I feel like with air signs, y'all need to, it's a lot of verbal, verbiage. Y'all need to have some uh, a heavy talk. Then you can move forward. 
because you feel stuck here anyway. You just keep you're on the merry-go-round with them. You want to leave, and you thought you wanted to leave, but you can't stop thinking about them. You, they're still in your energy, and and you very well may still be in their energy too. You guys need to get through whatever you need to get through. Fire sign. Um, you want something more traditional with this fire sign. You want them to get under some type of spiritual alignment. You feel like this person is super immature, in and out, indecisive, nine of pentacles. Um, oh, I just heard some of y'all might just be standing your ground. This could be dealing with any sign here. Standing your ground on the fact that you're done with a traditional relationship or a long-standing relationship. You want to be single. Eight, six of Pentacles. Um, this could be problems in a relationship, in a second marriage, second relationship. Doesn't have to be second, but problems in a relationship due to inequality. Somebody doing more than the other. All right, let's get some advice cards. Gemini, sorry about that. All right, three cards of advice, three additional, three cards of additional advice for Gemini. Let me have for Gemini. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the messages for Gemini. Oh, guys, I just saw leaving, but I, I kept moving. <laughs> Maybe that's what some of y'all are doing. Like, you want to leave, but you just keep staying. You just keep moving in that same situation i don't know oh my god i don't know all right hobbies that did fall out of the deck for you off camera end of an era all right okay this one fell out adult children and that fell out fell out of the deck also heavenly signs on the bottom of the deck moving so some of you could be moving away from this drama chaos whatever some of you could physically be moving this you know if you're thinking about moving then that that's confirmation heavenly signs that maybe you should be moving it's the end of an era for you whatever that era was like sometimes you get caught with people from your past and it was good in the past, maybe because you were younger, less, and ex less uh, experienced, inexperienced, um, and it was good then. But it's like this: a lot of times when people ask me why my marriage ended or whatever, um, we were young. We thought we would grow together, but we grew apart. That's just it. And for some of you, I'm feeling like that is that, you know, like, I mean, of course, there you can get even more specific in describing why something ended, but it's just that you you didn't grow with this person. You grew apart. Maybe different things out of life that you want. People got wiser, smarter. I don't know. Hobbies. You might need to engage in some hobbies or monetize a hobby here because um, you're going through a lot of energy. Um, you might need an outlet or you might need some extra money. So if it's something you know how to do very well, continue. Cause, uh, okay. So I heard continue. Continue to do it or start it. Adult children. For some of you, adult children are playing a big part. Um and uh what's going on with you maybe your adult children can help you um adult children are on your mind um you might even move closer to some adult children so gemini if this resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated i thank you in advance for just continuing to be loyal and come back and listen to me jibber jabber by way of spirit <laughs> um choose to follow me on insta go ask a question there 
or uh, request a personal reading by emailing me. My email address is below. Prices are below. You can follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Choose to fund the page. Go fund me link is below. See, everything is below. You see how everything is below. Um, I only say that for the people who will like literally email me and say, they, they'll almost say, how do I email you? You just email me. Stop it. Please don't do that. <laughs> but you know what I'm getting at. Everything is below, guys. Um, I hope that you got a message from this, uh, good or bad uh, or indifferent, whatever. Um, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Remember, when in doubt, pray. I'll see you guys in the May readings. Also, I have an announcement coming up. I think it's going to be great for all of us. It's going to provide some entertainment, some physical entertainment for all of us. Um, also, some insight, some ongoing insight, okay? All right, take care, guys. I will be back with that message really, really soon. And I hope that you all partake in it because I feel like it's going to be good for us, all right? Okay, bye.